Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be uh, kind of like recreating and reacting to my second video that I posted on my YouTube channel ever. The first one was 20 seconds long and it said welcome to my channel. And it was just a weird one. I was being sassy. You can go watch that but I don't know what I was thinking, but that's what I was doing. Um, so the second video says, get to know me, question and answer video. I posted it two years ago. Um, yeah, it's 556 views. I'm, I'm excited to watch it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to screen record on my phone. And then I'll put it up here so you guys can watch it too. I'm nervous like this is I don't know so I'm just gonna start or re-answer the questions for you guys tell you things that have changed and yeah we'll see so I'm gonna start screen recording now and I'm gonna turn the volume up so my camera can hear it cuz I do not want to do a whole bunch of fancy editing and put the voice over behind that <clears throat> Here we go. Hi, welcome to my channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe. To yeah, so if you haven't already, um, subscribe to my channel because you're already here and it'll make it really easy because you can just go right at the bottom. It shows right there. You can just subscribe, so just do that. Today I'm going to be doing a question and answer type video so you guys can get to know me. Okay, I used to talk so weird to the camera like... So you guys can get to know me. It was weird. It's like I didn't know how to talk to the camera, but no one really does, and I still don't know how to because it's just it's just a weird thing. But another thing I was gonna say is like my editing is like pretty good on here. Like I can't remember what app I used to use. I know it was on my old um, laptop that I don't even use anymore now. I just edit on my phone, but it was like pretty good. I have right here on my laptop a couple questions, and let's get started. So, the first question is, do you have any pets? And yes, I have like a zoo. My mom has a ton of birds. We have dogs. Okay, so I just flipped it to make it like long what? Or long... I'm really good at this. Um, and I'm not even going to cut it out because I need this video to be long, so... um. I just flipped the screen so that the video would be um, long ways and I realized when I edit this you probably won't be able to see it so um, I, that's it. That's all I have to say about that. Cats, we've got a bunny, we've got it all. Okay so the first question was do you have any pets and th I posted this video two years ago when I used to live with my mom. Um, Technically, I lived with my grandpa. We live in this, like, duplex house type thing. So, my mom was on the top and I was downstairs. So, we technically had a lot of pets because we had, like, two houses full of pets, I guess. And, um, my mom had birds. She had dogs, too. And then I had cats downstairs and my mom had her cats up here. So... Okay, so I had to stop the video for a second because I had a phone call um, that I had to take. So now we can get back into the video. I'm going to start screen recording again. Um, okay, so we're just going to start where I left off at. Um, my cats are fighting. Second question, do you drive and if so, have you ever crashed? Oh my gosh, so I don't know what it is about this video, <clears throat> and I don't know if it shows up on this camera. I think I recorded this one on my phone, I'm not sure. My voice was so high, like I know I have a high voice now, and I always have, but I just think it's worse in this video. But um, I guess we'll listen to the answer to the question, it was, uh, do you drive, and if so, have you ever gotten a crash? So let's see what I said. Yes, I do, and I actually crashed like about a year ago. It was pretty bad. Ruined my first car. What was the... I didn't know there was music behind this video, but okay. Um, anyways, 
in that video I said that I do drive and I do still drive and then I said that about we have another friend trying to join us his name's Jack um I said that I I do drive and that I crashed about a year ago and this video was posted two years ago so that means I got my crash like three years ago but um yeah in this video I posted a or I added a picture of my car um don't do that I have a little thing that he's gonna try and jump onto I know it but anyways I posted or I added a picture <clears throat> over the video of the picture of my car when I got my accident. Me and my friend got in an accident and I ruined my first car and all my cats are trying to go crazy right now and play on the couch and that's not allowed. That is just so rude and we are filming. Shh. Okay, so we're gonna go on the next one. The last movie you saw, the last movie I saw was Suicide Squad. I saw it yesterday. I was pretty upset that they didn't find a sucker for pain because it's pretty soon. Okay, so first of all, the video, or the audio in this video is really loud and I can barely hear anything I said, but the question was, what is the last movie you saw? And in the video I said, um, so I watched Suicide Squad and I remember watching that in theaters, it was a really good movie. And it was really weird that they didn't play Sucker for Pain, the song, because like that's what they advertised the whole like movie with pretty much everywhere. Um... And now the last movie I saw would be, I'm really going to have to think about it because I'm not sure. In theaters, I went and saw, honestly, I like don't remember. I do not remember. Yeah, I have no idea what the last movie I saw was, so I'm sorry about that. I, if I figure it out, I'll put it over the screen here so you guys can see it, but other than that, I do not know. Let's just give him a minute to take his time and figure out what he wants to do. He wants to. Okay. Next question. I go at how old will you be turning on your next birthday? I'll be turning 18, bitches. Oh my gosh, I'm swearing in this video? That's wild. Oh my gosh, so that means I was 17 when I recorded this. I said 18, right? Yeah. I'll be turning... 18 that means I was 17 that's weird so my next birthday I'm gonna be turning 21 which is so weird 18 to 21 I'm mind blown that's crazy I started YouTube a long 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 time ago I'm old I guess how many siblings do you have I have zero I'm an only child and I uh, yeah, the next question was, how many siblings do you have? And I said zero, and I still have zero, and I'll probably always have zero, and I'm okay with that. Um, let's see what else I said to it. I love it so much. Do you have any? I said, I love it so much. <laughs> I still do. I just like being alone. I don't have to deal with problems of brothers or sisters or whatever drama they have. Tattoos, yes I do. I have two tattoos. I have one on my right upper thigh that is isn't. Okay, so I paused the video because on the old video you can see the like picture I posted in for my first tattoo and that one I still have obviously. I haven't got no tattoo removal. But I still have that one, but now I have a lot more tattoos. I have in this video I said I had two. I have now Six. Wow. That's crazy. It's crazy how things change. I haven't realized like how much I actually did change until I watched this video. So the first one I had was that elephant one and the second one is an elephant. I got that for my grandpa and my grandma. And then I have one on my left shoulder that is for, for my mom. It says I love you past space. That's something she's always said to me. So she got a matching one too. Okay, so then the second tattoo, it's on my left shoulder right back here, and it says, I love you, past space, from my mom. Um, I still have it, obviously, but last time I got a tattoo, I got, I got, like, a B on my hip. I got that for my dad. Um, I had the tattoo artist add 
in my mom's handwriting, love mom, under this one, um, that says I love you past space, so now it says I love you past space, love mom. I don't have any updated pictures, so I'm not going to post them or like add them over this video, but you just got to believe me, that's what I have. And then on the right side, I have a handwritten note from my grandma who passed away in 2009. And then down the middle of my back, I have a bouquet of flowers, I have red roses and um, sunflowers. The sunflowers are for my grandma and the red roses are for my mom. So it's just in the middle of the two tattoos. Then I also have a cat tattoo. I do have a picture of that one. Um, my friend sent it to me. I guess I got it. It would have been two days ago. It, it'd be a year ago, two days ago, so I might add that picture in this video if I don't. Yeah, I have it, and then my bee tattoo, so. Next question. What was the last thing you ate? The last thing I ate was McDonald's, because I'm a fat Are you s I was swearing in my videos, and I don't know if that is okay. I was young. And I don't know who I thought I was going to be, like, just Miss Sass Queen? Um, I guess so. So, the question was, what is the last thing you ate? And I said McDonald's. I used to eat McDonald's a lot because it's, well, it's not that good anymore. But I used to think it was the best and it was cheap. So, yeah. Now, the last thing I ate today, I had chili for breakfast because I see the little driving by outside. Anyways, um, I had chili for breakfast because that's what I made for dinner last night. I cooked it up and then I put it in my crock pot and let it simmer or whatever overnight in that and it's really good. I eat it with a lot of sour cream and yeah. Single or taken? Okay, the next question was are you single or taken? So let's listen to my response, I guess. Maybe. I'm taken. I've been taken for about a year. Let's skip that part. Okay, anyways, so I was taken at that point in my life, and recently I've been single, but now I'm kind of talking to someone, so yeah, I got a boo thing, and you guys can't know anything about him because I'm not going to have you go stalk or search or figure out who it is until I want you to know, so yeah, I guess just, um... I guess I'll just keep you on your toes for that and you'll know sometime or someday and maybe we'll do videos together that'd be a lot of fun so yeah until then you guys know nothing and I will not tell you okay so next question would be like problem okay so I skipped too far because I was trying to purposely cut out some s that last answer because we don't care about that do we no so, next question. What is your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant right now would be like probably Five Guys, but all together I love Red Lobster. What is. Okay, so my favorite restaurant right now in the past like week has been this. Um, I'm not gonna say names because I'm not gonna have you guys come find me, but it's this restaurant in my like town. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to explain it to you guys, but they they just ha they have everything. Um, I like going there for breakfast. I've been really into eating hash browns with uh, having them make them extra crispy and add onions, and it's just so good. Um, yeah, breakfast food has been my favorite lately, so that's my favorite restaurant right now. And I have a sneeze coming. <laughs> I said but all together my favorite restaurant is Red Lobster and that's still true it is actually my absolute favorite um I love seafood if you didn't know that about me also I'd like to add if this video is a little weird for you because like I'm sneezing and I'm not cutting it out and I'm talking weird and I'm not cutting it out so because I'm trying to make my videos a little bit longer and I also think it's more real to not cut out everything that is natural or things that I would actually say or whatever um I think that is just that's just what I'm doing, so just deal with it. Also, um, I'm not planning out exactly what I speak before I say it, which is going to make it where I sound a little weird, I guess, but that's how normal people talk, and yeah. So, we're going to go to the next question. 
is one of your bad habits. One of my bad habits is biting my nails or picking at the skin around my nails. I do that very often, it's pretty bad. Okay, so the question was what is one of your bad habits and my answer to that was biting my nails and I used to be really bad at biting my nails. I would um, get acrylics and I'd like peel them off, you know, or chew them off or pick at the skin around my nails. It used to be really, really bad. I had very short nails. I still have short nails, but that's because over the years they haven't like strengthened that much. I also haven't done much to make them stronger or anything. They, It's just how it is. I still wear acrylics, you can see I have one that popped off, I need to go get them done. But I don't pick at my nails as much anymore, I kind of overcame that, which is really good for me and I'm really happy that I have because watching this video from two years ago, I probably would have thought I was going to do that for the rest of my life. My mom told me that she used to do it when she was younger and that she just stopped. And that's kind of what happened for me. Um, I would just bite them when I was nervous or anxious or whatever. and. Now I just, I don't know what I do, but I don't bite my nails as much. I do pick at them sometimes, but I think every girl does. Um, what a habit I have now is, I'll think about it real quick, let's see. I don't really, I don't really have a habit right now. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what my habit would be right now, so I'll just say I don't have one right now. What is your dream job? Um, mine would probably be to become a doctor or a nurse or just be somewhere in emergency medicine. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Okay, so I filmed this video like... I don't know, my senior year of high school? I think and that's when I was figuring out like what I wanted to do for my life and stuff and I really wanted to be a doctor or a nurse for a really long time. I thought emergency medicine was what I wanted to go into but so I did a couple semesters of college. Um, I only did my basic classes and I just hated that. I hate the structure like of school. I hate how you have to wake up, go there every day. I just I really just do not like it. Um, I'll probably go back to school. I'm trying to figure out what I want to actually go for, so going to school isn't as miserable. I've never liked school. I always missed a lot of school during high school, middle school, everything. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what's best for me. I love doing YouTube right now. If I can make a living off of that and whatever in the future, that would be awesome. I think it's the best job in the world. I also understand that it's not a like, real job, but... I watch people make a lot of money off of it and have a really happy life with it. And if I could do that sometime, I would like to, but as I'm getting a real job, I have a job right now. I work in a small, do you want to sit down? Yeah. I work in a small, at a small grocery store in my town. I help them do a lot of stuff. They're really good people to work for. Um. As of what I'm going to go into, I don't know, and when I figure that out, obviously you guys will know. You guys know all about my life. It's a lot of fun and interesting, right? Um, yeah, so let's go to the next question. Safe people, that's it for today's video. If you haven't, like and subscribe. I hope you guys got to know me a little bit, and yeah. Hello! I used to scream at the camera, but... Okay. Well Yeah, still true. If you haven't, like and subscribe. Like this video if you liked the concept of the video. Subscribe to me if you like to see more videos like this. Um, says follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. My at names will be down below. In my recent videos, I don't post um, my snap Snapchat at name. If you guys want to find it, you can... Oh, I guess I didn't even put my Snapchat name under the description of this video, so I guess don't follow me on Snapchat. I don't go on there very much, and I also, like, kind of want to keep it personal, so I don't really want people off the internet adding me on there. Also, um, 
my Instagram at name changed. It used to be Cora Nickerson too, and that's what my Twitter is. So go follow me on Twitter, and my Instagram now is Cora Nickerson with an extra N at the end. Um, what else? I think that's just. Hope you guys it. got to know me a little bit, and yeah. Yeah, I hope you guys got to know me a little bit in this updated video, this question and answer video. I'm happy that this one's a lot longer. I remember recording that one and I forgot how much it, how long it was like. Let's see. Oops. Wow, I'm a mess. My phone's a mess. I remember editing the first, like, the video from two years ago, and it was two minutes and 25 seconds, and I can't believe I let myself actually post that, because now, like, there's no point in posting a video that's two minutes and 25 um, seconds long, it's too short, no one's gonna wanna watch it. So I hope you guys watch this one, and I hope you guys like this one, and I hope you guys get to know me a little bit more than who I was two years ago, because I'm definitely a way different person. So my SD card ran out of memory, that's why that last clip stopped, um, so I'm just gonna end this video right here so I can start editing it and I can post it, but, um, I hope you guys liked this video and if you did, please like it, also subscribe to my channel, I know I've said this a couple times this video, but I guess it makes up for the times that I haven't said it in another video, so follow me on my social medias, they will be linked down below, that's where I'll be posting when I'm not posting on YouTube. Also, another reason why you should follow me is because on Instagram, I'll do polls of things that I want to incorporate onto my YouTube channel. So if you guys follow me, you can be a part of the things I post on YouTube and make it better and more interesting for you to watch. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all I have to say for this video.